Greetings, beloved St. Georgians. This is your rector, Joe Hensley, with an invitation for you to learn about and prayerfully consider our Open to All in Love project and capital campaign. Not long after I arrived at St. George's in 2015, I came to church one morning and saw that our church's open sign had been wonderfully augmented. An anonymous artist had created two different signs to make it read, this church is open to all with love. And we've left these additions in place ever since because they so beautifully express who we are as a church, embracing old and new, and truly seeking to be welcoming to everyone. And this is why we are engaging in this project, because it is high time that our buildings and grounds better reflect who we are as a church, open to all in love. We started this about seven years ago with conversations about needs for space and accessibility and concerns about maintenance. We've come a long way. We've hired an architect, we've had multiple studies and proposals, and we are finally at a place where we are ready to take a giant leap forward to make significant progress. This project, has four main parts. Maintenance, endowment, accessibility, and columbarium. Let me talk briefly about each of these. A welcoming church has to be a well-maintained church. When people enter our buildings, they need to see that we care about our buildings just like we care for our community. And we've known for decades that moisture infiltration is slowly deteriorating our church building's bricks. And we have recently discovered foundation issues under Faulkner Hall that must be addressed in the coming year. We want future generations to be able to continue to care for these wonderful old buildings. And so we want to grow our endowment the Landmark Building Fund at the Community Foundation to at least $2 million to generate income that will accrue over time to give us the funds that we need to make those big improvements and renovations when they come. That way, future generations can focus less on worrying about where the money's gonna come from to pay for the church buildings and more about mission and ministry. Part of our ministry is being welcoming to everyone, and that includes everyone regardless of physical abilities. And we've known for years that although we have an elevator and lift, it is difficult for people to navigate the steep hill going down George Street to get to it. And so this project would propose two additions, a ramp that would enter the church through the narthex from Princess Anne Street, and a ramp inside our buildings that would connect Sidner Hall with the office corridor and we would add handicap accessible bathrooms in that office corridor. These are not all that we can do, but they are a significant step forward in making progress so that our buildings are easier to enter and navigate. And finally, the columbarium is something that St. Georgians have been asking for for years, a place where their cremated remains can be laid to rest and family and friends can come and visit. We will create a columbarium in the graveyard, the oldest graveyard in Fredericksburg, and look at the care of all of our historic stones and the landscaping so that it all comes together to create a welcoming courtyard space, not only for our parish, but for the entire community. It is the most visited part of our St. George's campus, and it is a way for us to connect. All of these elements of the project are about enhancing and strengthening the ministries that we are already doing at St. George's. And so as part of this capital campaign, we will not only be asking you to consider supporting the campaign, we'll be asking you to consider the impact that our ministries have, both within the church and in the wider community. We'll be giving thanks to God for all the blessings that God has showered upon us. We will be praying, God, what would you do through me? We'll be considering what it means to live in faith and as a community of faith that takes leaps of faith together. This campaign is going to be a fun time, a time when we celebrate and, and give thanks, and then we consider our giving both to the annual operating of the church and to the capital campaign. You will be receiving 
two pledge cards, one for your annual gift for 2025 and one for the capital campaign that would be given over the next three or so years. We want you to consider your giving to the 2025 budget first and foremost as an expression of gratitude and generosity for all that God has done. We have to continue our giving in the next year at or above the same level we have been. And then we ask households to consider whether and how you can make a sacrificial gift that would be spread out over three or so years for the capital campaign. I wanna thank so many people who have come together to get us to this point. I wanna thank our capital campaign co-chairs, Marilyn Farrington and Mike Frey for their leadership and excitement. I wanna thank our staff and Vestry and the Vestry is wholeheartedly behind this project. I want to thank all the leaders who have stepped up to make this project a success. And I want to thank you for prayerfully considering how you will participate and pray, and if led by the Spirit, to give. This is an opportunity for us. We do have a goal, yes, of raising $4 million, at least $4 million for this project. But our greater goal is for the Holy Spirit to move in and through this project to bring life and spirit and excitement into our parish, to bring us all together around things that truly unite us, our faith in Christ and the ministry we get to do together. And I believe that with God's help and with your help, this campaign can and will be a success. And with God's help and your help, we are and we will be a church that is more and more open to all, with love, through love, and in love. Thank you for your prayers and thanks be to God.